What's going on Star Wars fans watching the Collectors Hub? My name is Chris and I'm beyond excited because today is the day I finally got Jabba's Sail Barge, the Katana. This thing is magnificent. It's definitely the best 3.75 vehicle ever made. Definitely the biggest. Now, we're going to get into every little part of this vehicle. First, I just want to go over the exclusive figure that it came with. It came with the exclusive Yak Face, Power of the Force with the coin, uh, throwback to the vintage day. And uh, it's really awesome. I'm obviously not going to be opening this. This is going to be staying mint and package. Get a nice acrylic case for this. It's a really cool piece. I love that they threw that in there. And it also comes with Jabba the Hutt, obviously. Now, this thing is massive. It's like four feet long. Um, I love this thing so much. This is going to be very repetitive. I'm going to be saying the word love, um, incredible, awesome, all that stuff over and over and over again. So we'll get into every little thing. And as you can see, there's a lot of paint weathering. Um, the detail is really through the roof. A lot of these little windows, they go up and down, you know, throughout the whole bodge. Um, these little fins, they move. These guns on the railings, there's all different little locations that you can place them. They came with two. Obviously, there's the main gun that's on the deck. Um, the seals are like a canvas material. We'll get into that in a little bit. Um, like I said, unbelievable work. Hasbro knocked this one out of the park. So we're going to get right into it. We're going to remove the front panel so we can get, you know, a good look underneath the bodge. Okay, so as you can see, crazy amount of detail going on here. You see Jabba in all his glory. We'll actually just take him right off, off of his um, dais. Um, tons of great paint application. Looks amazing. They use some gloss, so it looks like he has some snot and saliva. The eyes look great. So the arms are articulated. Elbows do bend. Hands do swivel. And he goes side to side. So beautiful Jabba figure. Obviously, I just threw salacious crumb in there just because. And you get yak face in the corner over there. So as you can see inside here, even the paneling on the floor, it looks like hardwood floor. Uh, you have like the microphone here. Um, there's a lot of nice detail in the back. There's trophies. You can see like the brass Gamorrean God like head and some really cool Jabba the Hutt artwork going on. It looks like it's Jabba surrounded by ladies. So it's really cool picture. I thought that was really nice touch. You can see like a Rancor brass statue on the right hand side in this corner. And if you look right through, you can see that the other windows on the other side of the bodge, you know, they open and close. You can see where my finger is. So we'll keep on cruising to the middle here. So this little panel right here pops up. Little smugglers area here. Um, it came with these, you know, prison chains. Obviously there's a prison on the left hand side so you can lock up prisoners and stuff like that. So that was a nice little touch. And if you look right over here, you know where the stairs are, that goes right up. The ladder goes right up to the hatches. All three ladders do. Um, this little area is for like weapon storage. And what I really love about this area of the barge is it's like a kitchenette, you know, you have some weapons hung up on the wall. I mean, it really does look like real wood. Like, uh, you get some, like, stainless steel stuff going on. You get, like, a faucet, um, little cooktop. Really nice little features there. So you know he's doing some good eating. Now over here, all the way to the left-hand side, is the prison. 
So you can see that some poor guy just rotted away in there. Some poor hammerhead. But I thought that was really awesome because you're exploring areas that you really didn't see. So that door just slides. Just like that. Now on the front here, you lift up this panel. And here are the drivers. So I threw a couple of skiff guards in there um, just to, you know, give a good vibe. But uh, a lot of nice things going on, um, you know, with the steering wheels painted like that brass color and the seats. And just like all the little controls and the panels, it's really, really nice. The colors are fantastic. You can see some of the gears over here. Just really great stuff. So I love that you can take off a lot of these panels and see a lot of different areas. Um, like I said earlier, the weathering is unreal. I mean, this thing is always in the sand, and it really does look like all the little nooks and crannies have sand in it. So really like that a lot. So what we're going to do is we're going to take off the seals now so I can give you a nice look, you know, on the top deck. So check this out. I mean, the skeleton underneath the sail, there's just so much going on. The structure is really incredible. Now, this was not difficult to put together. Um, really, you just look at the directions and you just put it together really quick. It's really cool. You get like a, you know, a, um, like a horn or a speaker or something like that um, painted very nicely. Now, putting this canvas on was very, very tricky because, you know, you have to put one end in and then literally, like, really stretch it. So there's some really nice tight tension going on, and you feel like you're going to break it, but you don't. Okay, so let me take this one off so it'll be easier. So same deal. This is uh, the exact same way. Same little speaker here. Now, the gun is painted unbelievably. It goes up and down. It does swivel. So you can put, point it at the deck and blow this bad boy up. But who would want to do that? All right, so now we're going to get into, um, you know, what moves and what opens up. So this little hatch slides, and these doors open. Very movie accurate. Now, as you can see, right below it is the staircase that goes right up. So, I mean, you could literally place every figure where it needs to be, and I really love that they thought that out. And it's the same deal with the other staircases. These hatches open right up, just like the movie. So I love that. Now this little piece right here actually slides out, this little chip, and this right here is like a trap door that you press this button right here, that pops down, goes right into the prison. So if you don't like somebody, you want them to stand right there, and then they just rot away in that prison just like that poor ham hammerhead. And just slide that door open, push it back up you're good to go. Now, like I was telling you guys earlier, these guns, little peg hole, and you see all the different locations. You can put, put them up here if you want. Really, really nice. I, I love that a lot. I wish they came with just like maybe one more extra gun. But yeah, this thing is epic. As you can see, like another little staircase, all these like little, you know, like creature heads all over the place, like nice decor. Little pegs on the, gu the gun right here. So you can place Princess Leia right there. Just a really phenomenal piece. And uh, I don't know if you caught it, you probably did, but the, uh, the little creatures that are hanging up right near the stove. So you have some snacks hanging up there, little creatures. Now 
Now it it's about like two and a quarter off of the ground because of these clear little stands that it came with, which was a great, great touch. So yeah, guys, I mean, this thing, like I said, over and over again, it's phenomenal. It's hands down my favorite piece of all time. If, th if I had this as a kid, nobody would see me for at least two months. Um, I kind of want to just look at this for a couple of days straight. I feel like the more I look at it, the more I'm, I'm seeing and finding. And um, like all these little pieces right here, you had to put these little pieces on. Um, little, little details. Every little, little thing that they did. I swear they just did not, you know, miss out on anything. No, now I know in all my videos I say how much I love things. I love this thing. And I can't wait to load up, you know, the badge with all the skiff gods and, you know, all the different, you know, aliens and Jabba's palace. And I'm going to try to get it movie accurate as much as possible. So like I said, I'm definitely sounding like a broken record, but I think um, you guys are feeling the excitement here. But yeah, I mean, right when I popped off the, the covers and I just saw like the wood paneling and just like every little thing. Oh, like I, I forgot to show you guys this, the uh, dais, you know, that moves back and forth. You know, so we can get a little bit more shade. Just I want to make sure I'm not forgetting nothing. Oh, you know what I thought was pretty interesting too? And they totally didn't have to do this. So, obviously you can't see on the other side of this panel. But it's still all decked out. And there's still like a brass head hung up. And the wood paneling. They totally didn't have to do this, but they did. You're not going to see this. But they still dressed it up. So I thought that was really cool. I actually didn't look on the other side. Yeah, so, I mean, they didn't have to do that. So let's dress this back up. So you just push this in. These little, these little, like, clips here, they go right here on the side. So you push it down, and then just push these pegs right into the side, and you're good. So honestly, it didn't really take me that long to put together. I really thought putting the seals together were going to be a nightmare, and it I think it took me about five minutes, to be honest with you. You do need some strength to pull that tension. So, just little uh, pieces here. You go up and then down. That clips right in. these little windows they open you kind of just have to feel around they don't all open but a couple of them do so as you can see it's massive it has some nice weight to it I mean how cool is this So hands down, like I said, my favorite toy of all time. Um, didn't get it as a child, but even better, I got it when I was 34, and I really appreciate this thing. And I'm going to build a custom shelf, line up all the figures, and I'll make sure to put tons of pictures on Instagram. So the gigantic box that it came in is huge. So I'm going to 
show you that as best I can. So boom. So yeah, I mean, my hat was racing when I took this out of the box. Um, you have some beautiful images on the front, on the top here. They have it all decked out with the skiff gods and Boba Fett and, you know, all your favorite characters. You have some more images um, on the bottom. On the sail barge. And what I really like is they did like an old school picture on the back side. So you have like a black and white image. And I really like that a lot. That's really cool. You saw that a lot back in the day. So HasLab, I'm looking forward to your next project. Um, this one, you totally blew me away. Now this cost $500 and it was worth every penny. Um, I think it was very well priced. Um, I don't regret one thing. Like I said, I wanted this ever since I was a little kid. So right when I saw that they were doing um, Back the Barge, I jumped all over this one. So guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this review. I did my best trying to cover this thing. It's huge. I'm really excited. And uh, I probably missed something. But I feel like I covered most of what I've known uh, and found. So, if you want to see more of me, go to thecollectorshut.com. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, right here on YouTube. Please keep tuning in because I have so much more to share with you guys. Please subscribe, comment, and share. You guys rock. And, um... Uh, I have my work cut out for me because this is the best playset that you could possibly ask for and I'm a very, very happy Star Wars fan. So like always guys, may the force be with you and I'll see you on the next one. Boshuta.